After four months of harassing phone calls, Heather and Courtney Kuykendall were afraid to answer their cell phones. You are so dead. The graphic, violent threats came at all hours, forcing the family to change their cell phone numbers. But even that didn't work. I will kill you. They said they were going, you know, to rape her. The Kuykendalls were featured on NBC's Today Show after anonymous stalkers literally took control of the family's cell phones and began following their every move. Text to landline message. We are going to start coming every night. You just might not know when. We're looking at you. They're listening to us and recording us. We know that because they will record us and play it back as a voicemail. So how is this possible? Just take a look at the internet. That's where you'll find the latest spy technology for cell phones. Marketers claim you can tap into someone's calls, read their text messages, and track their movements anywhere, anytime. They say you can catch a cheating spouse, protect your children, and hear what your boss is saying about you. And they'll never know because it's supposed to be completely invisible with absolutely no trace. This stuff's pretty creepy. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Rick Mislin is a former military intelligence officer who now runs the cyber forensics lab at Purdue University. He's examined thousands of cell phones and says spy software can now make even the most high-tech phone vulnerable. I think a lot of people think their cell phone calls are very secure. Our privacy isn't always what we think it is. And you don't have to take his word for it. Just ask Cindy Abair. Cindy is a producer at Channel 13. And with her permission, I've installed spy software onto her cell phone. Hi, it's me. What are you doing? While Cindy's at home making phone calls okay. to her family. Have you guys thought any more about coming through here to uh, oh, Indianapolis to Florida? Yeah, it'll be a long time. I'm outside on my cell phone listening to the whole conversation. Okay. Whenever you make it through, we'll be here. And there's more. Every time Cindy makes or receives a call, I went to snooze, this is Cindy. My cell phone lets me know. It's a text message telling me she's on the phone so I can call in and listen. On my computer, I also get a copy of her text messages. I can see the phone numbers of all her incoming and outgoing calls. And no matter where Cindy is with her cell phone, I get constant satellite updates on her location. I can literally track Cindy anywhere she goes. And I'm just getting started. Take a look at this. Especially if she's already, you know, thin and little. Cindy doesn't even have to be oh, using her cell phone for me to hear what she's doing. <laughs> <laughs> even if her cell phone is just sitting on a table or attached to her purse, I can activate the speaker on that phone and secretly listen in. So what are the rules for listening in? That means while Cindy is meeting with our station attorney up on the 36th floor of that downtown building, and does their intent matter? I can hear their conversation even though I'm four miles away. I'm eavesdropping on them from the city's north side. And I can hear every word. Yeah, as long as you can do all those kind of things, you can use that. Doing this without someone's permission is illegal, but it's still happening. The technology is there. It's been there for a long time. It's accessible. Uh, it's done all the time. Tim Wilcox is a private investigator in Indianapolis. He says people really are using cell phone spy programs, and every day he gets letters and emails from those needing help. There's only two people. One wants to bug somebody, and the other has been bugged and is worried about how it's being done and, and how to find out and how to stop it. The harassment did stop for the Kuykendalls, but only after they brought in police and the FBI. While authorities never figured out who hijacked the family's cell phones, security experts say the case serves as a powerful lesson for the rest of us. Your privacy isn't your privacy. You know, it, it is exposed, it is exploited. Yeah, okay. That's what I just about there. So, how can you protect yourself? Well, for starters, don't just leave your cell phone lying around where anyone can get to it. Install a password on here to prevent others from accessing your phone. And when you're not using it, go ahead and turn it off and actually take out the battery. We've got more tips for you at WTHR.com.
I'm Bob Siegel, Channel 13, Eyewitness News.